means so much to me, and I want to do stuff to remember her. I don't want to just not do anything. A group of friends are using their baking skills to help heal after a devastating loss. 16-year-old Rachel LaFaso was killed in a car crash in Elma last month. And News 4's Rachel Monjovi talked to her friends about how they're keeping her memory alive. Don and Jackie, in the hour and a half that I spent with Rachel's best friends tonight, I learned two things. She was always laughing and had a passion for animals, especially dogs. Her friends came up with a way to keep her memory alive, but they need your help. She was just such like a genuine person. She was always happy. She was always laughing. She was one of a kind. 16-year-old Rachel LaFosso is known for her infectious laugh. I always said um, Rachel's laugh almost dared you to be more funny. You wanted to keep her laughing. When you ask loved ones about Rachel, they light up. She was the best person ever to be around. Rachel died in early January in a car crash minutes away from her Elma home. She was pronounced dead at the hospital. Rachel had dreams of becoming a veterinarian. Rachel really liked animals. <laughs> Everywhere we went, she loved everyone's dogs. To keep Rachel's memory alive, her best friends are raising money for a water fountain for dogs at Elma Village Green Park. They're baking and selling dog treats with the help of their track coach. But it's more than just dog treats. There's something about a kitchen that's very healing. The only reason that we're all here together is because we are mourning. We're going, we're trying to figure things out. And it's not, kind. it's, this isn't just really for the kids. It's kind of for me too. Since the accident, Rachel's seven best friends haven't left each other's side. I don't think we spent the night apart for over two weeks. They're using baking as a way to heal. All of us being there for each other, like, it's like so important to us and it means the world. And they're remembering their dear friend one treat at a time. She probably loves it. <laughs> Loves that dogs are gonna go up to a little water fountain and drink the water. <laughs> The girls already sold more than 100 bagged dog treats, which is more than $1,600. They've also sold bracelets with Rachel's name on them. For information on how to donate, head to our website, WIVB.com. Reporting live, Rachel Monjovi, News 4 at 11.